In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Visual Studio Code to import ArcPy and run Python script to do ArcGIS data processing outside of ArcMap. So here I have a script which is uh, selected by attribute. I'm going to right click and choose open with code that means Visual Studio Code. And here in Visual Studio Code, I can run this script by just select so this is the Python here on the bottom left corner. I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose uh, Python 2.7 32 bit here, which is exactly uh, no not that, that one, this one. Yeah yes. Uh, Python for app map. And I'm gonna run it by right click, choose run Python file in terminal. And you see that it's print now the current working directory, Python version, ArcPy workspace, number of houses in Columbia City which is equivalent to this part of the code and number of houses within 4k from a park in Columbia City which is equivalent to this part of the code so that's the way that I can run I can import ArcPy and run ArcPy in Visual Studio Code but how can I do that? so it's very simple I want to show you if you want to have your Visual Studio Code recognize the Python interpreter from ArcGIS what you need to do is just go to environment system environment variable setting you go to environment to variables and here what I do is I just put in something called in the path there I hopefully so for my computer it's it's like automatically recognized but in the case that after you install ArcGIS and it's not recognized you can do like this you can go to the location that you install the python for RGIS which is in here here and you copy this and you go to visual uh, in environment variable setting and you click you create a new you call um, python 2.7 up map folder and you paste in here and you click ok so you got that uh, Python MR folder here. So you can copy that and you create a new one down there. This is for uh, user and this is for system variable. So you click on there, click on there, and you browse. You can also browse to uh, this PC and to uh, Python and that one. It could be the same. And you can do like that. And then you start restart Visual Studio Code. And you restart Visual Studio Code and you will have very simple you will have the python version that you need in this list here you it will find it for you for example here that so that is for uh, arcpy arcmap you know that now we can also have arcpy for python 3 arcgis pro so here i have arcpy for python 3 arcgis pro as well so for example i want to run the script and if i set my python interpreter is arcmap if I, I said it is a normal Python, like uh, here, which is just Python 3.7 uh, and I run it, you can easily get that it's not working because it's not recognized after. So if I change to Python 2 RGIS and I run this again, it will work because it recognize RPI, it understands RPI workspace, and of course, I forgot to put in U here, do it again, put it up a little bit. It should work in final. So it filed like 40 houses, 4K from a park. I print out the result. And I also can run ArcPy, import and run ArcPy from ArcGIS Pro. So what I did is, I will show you in here in my variable, uh, environment variable. What I did here, I put this on. I put in a new variable called ArcPro Python folder and I put in this location. So this location is a location that if you install ArcGIS Pro, the Python environment for ArcGIS Pro, which is 3.6, is going to be installed here. After I do that, I restart Visual Studio Code. And you can see that the load location is going to be here. It's very, very easy, automatically. So now I can choose that, and I'm going to run this code, and you will see that it's recognized. It will recognize ArcPy and run ArcPy for you. You see that? And you got the result, exactly the result that you run with the ArcPy app. So down there is up high up here at Pro and up here is up high up. 
So that's it. How I how can I can view Visual Studio Code to import Arcbar from Arcmap or import and run Arcbar from ArcGIS Pro.